the latter days of, of uh, 2001, actually uh, on New Year's Eve, um, I've started getting phone calls to say that I had been named in the Queen, Queen Elizabeth's honours list. And um, to be honest, I thought, first of all, this was kind of a joke. And then I realised that it was actually fact that I was going to receive an MBE or an honorary MBE because I'm an Irish, Irish and not a British uh, citizen. Uh, I got an honorary MBE, which is a member of the British Empire. And I was awarded this and the, the citation on the day. We, I received the award in Dublin from Prince Charles. There was five of us on that evening got honorary awards of, of different kinds. And uh, when they read out the citation, it, it was for the services to the music uh, industry. And they also talked about the different charities that I've been involved with, but I think primarily it was for my uh, services to the music industry. And um, to be honest, you know, as I said, I, I never would have expected it. But I was, I was delighted to get it. And then after, I suppose, realising, you know, that, that this was going to be given to me, I started to wonder how could it be that I would get an award like this. And I found out that members of the British public had written to the Queen, not collectively, but individually, many of them, uh, over a period saying that they loved the music, that they enjoyed what I did, that it meant whatever to them, and asked her if she could consider me for an award on the honours list. So that again, I suppose when you think back uh, to getting the Donegal Person of the Year, it comes from the people who enjoy what I do. So I think these things are you know, uh, all the more worthwhile. And then to be presented by Prince Charles was, was, was a great honour too, because um, first of all, we were told that it was the ambassador, the British ambassador to, to Ireland who would give, and that was fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him either. But uh, you know, when you get it from royalty, you want to be given it, you know, by a royal hand. So it was, it was a grand day.